morning to you laddies, my name is Jack Septicai and I'm going to show you guys where I live. So I'm sorry about the quality of the camera and the quality of the audio. I hate recording out here in like the main area of where I live because it's so echoey. Oh, see it's horrible. That's why I don't record out here and I record in my room with all my lovely foam padding. But I'm going to show you guys exactly where I live, what the outside of it looks like, what the inside of it looks like what my setup looks like right now. I did do one of these videos before, but a lot of people came to the channel since then and they didn't really get to see it or a lot of them don't know about my setup video that I did before. Also, my setup changed in the meantime. I have a lot more stuff. I have a lot more stuff changed around. Everything is different, so I'm gonna show you guys my setup once again. Okay, so inside my cabin, you guys can see my little fire there against the back wall. The thing above it is something I made myself. It's like a sheet of metal on top of some wooden boards because it used to get really cold in here and the fire whenever I turned it on it didn't get hot quickly enough because the room is really big, the ceiling is really high and it's just really hard to heat the place so I built that thing to try and drive heat from there back into the room over here, woo Jacksepticeye shirt! yeah product placement! over here you can see my 3DS, my PS Vita, my PlayStation 4 controller and my PS3 controller uh, I just keep them there because they're in the way everywhere else. So it's like my little gallery of handhelds and PlayStation controllers. Uh, nothing else major around here. That on the ground is the subwoofer for my surround sound system, which I'll try and show you guys a bit more of after. The big giant light is what I actually use to record. In there you guys can see my setup a small bit. I'll show more of that again in a minute. But here, my mattresses. I have one mattress there and one mattress here. This mattress here, I actually move over and block off all of this whenever I'm recording. That's why I put the sheet down then over it so you guys can't see those fugly mattresses. And this helps dampen the sound because it's really echoey out here in this main area. So it's nice to have something to come across here and try and block out the sound from leaving and just make my sound, my voice sound a bit better when I'm in my recording space. But I'll, I'll move in here now and show you guys my real recording equipment. So this is the main area where I record. This is my really good monitor here on the left. This is where I usually do all my gaming. The one on the right is a different monitor. It's actually a faster monitor, so it has higher refresh rate. So this one has better picture, but this one is a lot smoother. It's a lot faster. So I use them for two different types of gaming. This is usually my competitive FPS gaming where I play like Battlefield 4 and Titanfall. Everything else then is done on this computer here and this is my main monitor. Now you guys can see my microphone here is my Audio Technica AT2020. My headphones down here on the left are Bear Dynamic DT990s. My webcam here is a Logitech C920. My keyboard is a generic one. It came with like an Acer computer years ago. My mouse then is a Razer Death Adder. You guys can see my computer there on the ground. PS4 here and PS3 there. Um, the PS3 isn't set up. I kind of have to switch between the two of them. But let's get in. Let's get in a little closer, and I'll show you guys a bit more. Up here behind the actual computer monitors, you guys can see. My speakers, these are my 5.1 surround sound speakers, so my left, center, and right. And all my foam padding on the walls, I actually got a lot more of it recently. I used to have just like two layers of this and then all, all of this stuff was down here. So I had to change it around and now I've got a lot more foam padding all over the walls, everywhere. I have the place practically covered in this stuff because it really deadens down the sound, as you guys can imagine. On wooden walls, it's not going to be the best for recording. It's going to be a lot of reflections, a lot of sound, a lot of reverb. So it's not really nice. And there's my bed right beside it. So my bed and my computer are practically in the exact same place. So it's not ideal, but I do the best of what I have. I don't have a very big house. I don't have a very big room. So this is the best I can do, basically. Down below is the guts of the operation over here on the right. Look at all those sexy cables! Behind the light, this thing here, we have my receiver for my 5.1 surround sound. So all my audio goes into that because when I got the new monitor, it didn't have any speakers and I wanted to get 5.1 surround sound again. I did have it at one stage and I had to repurchase it. So I'm glad I have it back again and it's really nice, it's really awesome. If you guys can afford surround sound, you should get it. So my main computer here, I will open that up in a minute and show you guys what's inside it. PS4 there on the ground, more sexy cables in the background. It's really hard, by the way, when you have all this stuff set up, it's really hard to keep all the cables tidy 
because there's so many of them, but I try my best. And over here then we have my PS3. Like I said, I don't have that set up. So here's the inside of my PC. God, my voice is horrible down here. I'm sorry for the audio quality again and the video quality. I don't have a very special camera to record this stuff on, but this is the brains of my computer. I did show you guys the outside of it, so this is what the inside looks like. I have... Up here is all my RAM. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, so that's like 4x4. Four four. CPU cooler here, which is a push-pull fan kind of thing set up, so the air comes in through this fan, comes out through that one, and then goes out the back fan. And when stuff gets really hot and really... When I'm re rendering out, it's really good because it keeps the CPU cool. Here you have my GTX 780 Ti, which is the GPU, the graphics card, and it is an absolute monster. It is a beast. It will devour any game that I throw at it. Here is what everyone's asking me about. This little tiny card here is actually my capture card. So this is what records all my footage, every single bit of it. It allows me to record PC gameplay and allows me to stream PS4 gameplay and PS3 gameplay onto my computer and then I can actually record with fraps from there So I use that little card for everything now here you guys can see my power supply. I do have Three hard drives installed in this. I want to put in a fourth I do have a fourth lying around that I want to put in but I'm just lazy and I don't want to do it yet You guys can see the front this little panel pops off which is really handy for cleaning Dust doesn't get in and this used to all have mesh on the front, so when I turned up the fan, it used to get really, really loud. So I actually had to cut all the mesh out and install the fan back in, which right now it actually sounds much, much better. I have a Blu-ray drive in my computer, which reads Blu-rays and normal DVDs, so that's really good. Up here I have my fan controller, so this is the front fan, top fan, this is nothing. This one actually controls one of the CPU fans, and this one is the back fan, this white fan out the back. And you guys can see if I turn up this one, this actually gets brighter, and it gets, it, it moves faster. Turn up this one, it's actually this fan up here, the top one, and this one, and this one. So when everything is in operation, this is how loud my PC sounds. I wonder does it sound loud on camera. It's loud as shit, but luckily when the side panel is on, it actually sounds pretty quiet and you can't hear it on the microphone anyway so that's pretty good I will leave a full list of specifications in the description anyway so you guys can see uh, if you didn't understand anything that I was saying and if you're wondering what PC I bought this is a PC I bought myself I bought the case the RAM the GPU the CPU cooler the CPU itself the fans the power supply the motherboard everything you guys see inside this I bought myself, I put it all together separately like a big giant Lego set and it was a lot of fun and I urge any of you to do the same whenever you're building a computer or you want to buy a PC for gaming, build your own because you will get warranty on every single piece of equipment that you buy. So if my GPU breaks, I can just replace the GPU and send it back and get it replaced. If you buy an all-in-one system, usually you don't get different warranties and different pieces of equipment. Plus, I have realized that I got a better understanding of building computers, a better understanding of how they work and what they need to work. So it's just made me a better gamer overall in general and also a better YouTuber. So that's all the main stuff. Like I said, this is my microphone here, my Audio-Technica AT2020. It's really nice. It really sounds good. My pop filter actually isn't on it yet. The way I have my webcam set up, I usually dismount this whenever I'm just going to edit or anything like that and I just throw it away. For rendering and editing I usually have this monitor open and this monitor open so the video actually shows up on this one because it's better looking, I can see colors better, I can just judge how the whole thing looks a lot better. This one then has all my timeline stuff on it so I do all my editing, my cutting, my slicing, my adding in of stuff on this one and then I can see it over on this uh, monitor here, so it makes it makes editing a lot easier. I'm not doing everything from the one monitor This here is where my headphones plug in so I turn that on and it gives power into my headphones It makes them a lot it makes everything a lot easier to run because my headphones need external power to make them sound the best uh, This thing here is for my capture card When I turn it on my capture card software actually boots up you guys can hear it there and this is the software here so, when I'm going to record, I actually just put this over onto capture, 
and then click the big red button and it's ready to go and sometimes it does that I don't know why it does that but if I click this Oh, it's not going to work now because my monitors aren't set up properly. But usually when I click that button, it uh, it goes into record mode. And that's how, I, uh, that's how I record everything. So I just get ready to record and I click that big giant red button and it makes me feel like I'm like blowing up a nation. It makes me feel like I'm launching bombs because it's, it's just so big. Everyone wants to touch big red buttons up here. I forgot to mention is where I keep my Oculus Rift. My Oculus Rift is actually here, there's my pop filter, it has a sock over it just to make it a lot better. And there's the famous awesome hat that everybody wants and loves, don't you? No? Okay. Well, there's my hat anyway. And that's it! That's my entire setup. Again, I'm really sorry about the quality of the camera, the quality of the audio. If I ever do get a really good camera to record stuff, I will do all of this again. If I ever move, I'll do it again. I like to keep my setup updated to show you guys what it's all like. Again, any of you who have seen my first home setup tour, I will link it at the end of the video and link it in the description, if I remember. Editing Jack better do that. Um, so you guys can go see that and you can see what's changed and you can get a better look of the outside of where I live and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of stuff has changed since then. If you've watched the first video, you will see a lot of different stuff. I do live in the middle of nowhere. Any of you wondering, I do have absolutely nothing really. I live in a little wooden shack. I do make the best from what I have and in a little while when I finish college, hopefully I can move out and get a better place and record stuff a lot better, maybe just set up my stuff a lot better, separate my sleeping area from my my gaming area just so I can sleep better. Um, right now everything is kind of on top of itself, so it's not ideal, but I do make the best of what I have. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss! And high fives all round. Whoosh, whoosh. But thank you guys, and I will see all your dudes! And if you zoom here to the left, oh my god, that's my house right there. I told you guys before that I lived in a wooden cabin, and that's it. That's all of it. That's where, that's my home. That one on the left is my parents' one, but this one right here is my fortress, my little bunker. This is where I record everything and shout and scream all the time. And it's good. I, I kind of live on my own, but not really. My parents live right next door, but it's nice to have my own little place here that I can kind of sit around and do my own.